Hey, wanna know how to make a really simple door to enclose an area in your barn or your shed? Let me show you how. This used to be the area that our pigs would come inside. We've decided we're putting the pigs elsewhere and this is now going to be an area for the rabbit cages because we are adding meat rabbits to the farm this year. So we have some stuff we need to do to this area. So this is what we're working with here. And we are going to take these gates off, this gate here, and there's another gate over there. And we are going to turn these into actual doors. So that is going, what I'm going to show you today. That's what we're going to build. Same kind of doors that we built for right here. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to cover this whole area in some uh, heavy duty netting because I don't want the cats to have access to the rabbit. There's a lot of breaking happening here. Woo! I'm getting stuff done. It's good fun on the farm. Now we used one by fours for this project. What you need to do is measure your door and you're gonna have to cut the two long pieces for the sides and then three smaller pieces for the width. So you're gonna have one for the top, the bottom, and then the middle as well. And then we use this neat little thing called a Craig jig. And we're gonna use this on all of the middle pieces, both ends of the middle pieces. And this is going to allow us to make little hidden pocket kind of joinery. Did I explain that right? I don't know. Then we used our bar clamps and we set the door up on our table. We use wood glue for all the middle pieces and then let it set for a little bit, making sure everything is right. And then we use the Craig screws to join those pieces together. The Craig jig is such a cool thing and we've used it for so many projects all over the farm. So we did the top and the bottom, then we did the middle. And you can put that middle piece wherever you want. You're gonna see if you watch a little bit longer that we actually ended up moving this Stick those Craig screws in there. Now I decided it would be stronger to put wood on the bottom and not just have it all netting. And so I'm gonna go find a crappy piece of wood that I pulled out of the barn. And we're gonna reuse that to make our doors just a little bit more sturdy on the bottom and then have netting on the top. So kind of like a half screen door, I guess. If you knew all the materials that we have repurposed from around the farm, for the 13 years that we have been on the farm, you would be so proud of us. So, I am gonna reuse from this pile of wood. Mm, could drag this big one over there. We don't really need anything crazy sturdy, but sir, this one will work. And he said it won't work. He's too little. We should have grabbed the other one. So here's where I told you that we are actually going to move that centerpiece because we were going to use something different on the top and then we remembered we had this roll of chicken wire. So in order to make the chicken wire work, we ended up moving that middle board so we had it at the right place to staple to. So we glued that again, re-screwed it with the Craig screws, and then we're going to attach the chicken wire which is gonna kind of be the screen top for us. Roll it across, cut it off, and then go to town with the staples. Then we're gonna to get to work with this piece of whatever this is that we found in the barn. You can also use plywood, you can use whatever works, but this is what we found, so this is what we used. Cut it to fit the bottom of the door. Make sure it's gonna actually fit before you attach it. Wood glue, wood glue, wood glue. I really like wood glue. Lay the board on top. Make sure everything lines up really nicely. And once again, go to town with the staple gun.
And that, my friends, is the door. Is it fancy? No. Does it work? Absolutely. We have so many doors that are like this on our farm. Then we decided to cut a couple strips to cover the edge of the chicken wire so nobody got caught on it. And there you go. Now let's put it on. Time to put the hinges on. And the cat was being super helpful, as you can see. Now we grabbed a piece of two by four, just a scrap, and we use that to keep the door up a little bit as you're trying to hang it, because you obviously don't want that board sitting right on the ground when you're trying to put it on or it's, it ain't gonna open, right? So that board helps keep it up a little bit. So then we can attach the hinges. Helpful cat, once again. And looky there at that. Opened better than the gate ever did. Beautiful. Now we're measuring a little piece of wood to create the door stop so the door has something to close against. that board right there and that makes the closey part bonk that's great attaching the spring so the door will close by itself I call this the door closey thing it's a very technical term And then you just go, it's a door! Whoop, whoop! Look at that. You go inside, doot, doot, doot. And if you want to keep the evil people out, then you just do that, and then they can't get in. Isn't that great? Bong! Pretty simple piece of wood and a screw. So this area turned out kind of awesome. I'm so excited to put rabbits in here next week. So stay tuned for more about that. It turned out so good, you guys. I'm locked in.